Um, grace, grace to you, good people. Ephesians chapter 1, verses 11, as I talk to us about a heavenly inheritance. Okay, and I'm going to read the New King James. The Bible says, In him, that is Christ, also we have obtained, we have obtained an inheritance, being predestined according to the purpose of him who works all things according to the counsel of his will. Okay, in him also we have obtained an inheritance. And so I'm talking to us about a heavenly inheritance. So, heaven is the inheritance, the happiness of which is a sufficient portion for every child of God. Hallelujah. Okay, you are a citizen of heaven. You are a citizen of heaven being a child of God. It is conveyed in the way of an inheritance, being the gift of a father to his children. An inheritance is, 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 is a lot that has been given to you. Okay? Uh, that is casting lots. So you have received this as a lot. It is your inheritance. Hallelujah. It's a gift of God to you. God has blessed you with the gift of heaven. The Bible says in 1 Peter chapter 1, verses 3 and 4, Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who according to his abundant mercy has begotten us again to a living hope through the resurrection of Jesus Christ from the dead to an inheritance incorruptible and undefiled and that does not fade away, reserved in heaven for you. Are you seeing that? It is, in, it is incorruptible, it is undefiled. And it does not fade away. It's pack a last. Hallelujah. And it is reserved in heaven. Oh, 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 oh. It is reserved in heaven. So Christians are said to have obtained this inheritance in Christ, who is their head and a representative. It is important you understand that. So what am I saying? That we have a present present because it is reserved in heaven for us okay but we have a present right to eat this inheritance okay and actual possession of it present in other words we don't have to go to heaven to live a glorified life christ designed this life for us before the foundations of the world we are experiencing this inheritance now i don't have to go to heaven to live a glorified life in Christ, I live a glorified life. And I can change it the other way around. I don't have to go to heaven to, to receive healing. No, healing has been given to me now. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The glorified life is yours because the glorified Christ lives in you. So you don't have to go to heaven to, to experience the Christ. He is in you. Hallelujah. That's the glorified life. So you don't have to go to heaven to live a glorified life. Enjoy it like your marriage is glorified. Your business is glorified. Your children are glorified. Your ministry is glorified. This is your portion. This is your inheritance now in this earth and in the age to come. So friends, it's in Christ that we find out who we are and what we are living for. Very important. Long before we first heard of Christ and got our hopes up, he had his eye on us, had designs on us for this glorious living. Yes, heaven is reserved in heaven for us. I mean, heaven is reserved for us, okay? The, I mean, the inheritance is, is reserved in heaven for us. But at the same time, we are experiencing it now. For as Jesus is, so are we in this world jesus is seated in the heavenly places far above all principalities and dominion and power and every name that is to be named but look at it we are also seated in christ in the heavenly places far above are you understanding what i'm saying so this is your position as a christian that you don't have to go to heaven to 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 be above principalities no 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 because jesus is seated in the heavenly places far above you also don't have to wait to die and go to heaven. No, you are already seated in Christ. Hallelujah. So in Christ, you're enjoying heaven on earth. You're beholding. Okay, that's why we are here as, an, as ambassadors, that whatever we bind must be already bound in heaven. Whatever we, we lose must be already what's loosed in heaven. So if you're binding something, it must be already what is bound in heaven. Because 
We don't have to go to heaven to live a glorified life. We live it now because we have obtained the heavenly inheritance. Live a glorified life. The one in you is glorious. He's been exalted and he worketh in you that which is good and pleasing in his sight. So you have everything. God has equipped you with his son who lives in you, the very life of God, the very life of Jesus, the spiritual life is in you. And by faith, you respond. And I can tell you something, that the best is yet to come. And God bless you.